how to use the insertion device. Check the parts of the device. Make sure there are no missing or damaged parts. There shall be a minimum 3 meter gap between the drum to be mounted and the insertion device and the drum shall precede the puller. The drum should be mounted on top of the extrusion pool for more efficiency. The base of the insertion device shall be mounted axially and placed on the fixed base. The smaller diameter insertion wheel shall be placed in front on the side of the gig. Place the product's roll in the drum, ensuring that the roll is not damaged. Place the gig inside the PVC profile channel. It shall be placed almost in contact with the profile. Center the insertion wheel in the profile channel. The insertion wheel shall be 1mm to 1.5mm wider than the profile channel. Unwind the gasket from the roll and place it through the gig housing. Use the insertion wheel to place the gasket passing through the gig housing into the profile channel. The pressure of the insertion wheel shall be set to make sure that there will be no wheel mark on the gasket. Starting from the onset of production, regularly check the width of the PVC profile channel and the thickness of the PVC profile teeth. Since the gasket is mounted during PVC profile production, the sizes of the PVC profile shall remain within the range of tolerance. Otherwise, the gasket may not fit in the PVC profile channel or may lead to shortening inside the profile. There is a flexibility setting in the drum as well to facilitate demounting of the gasket from the roll. Flexibility shall not be set to be too tight or too loose. If the drum's flexibility is too tight, the insertion wheel applies counterforce, leading to shortening when the gasket is placed inside the PVC profile. If the drum is set to be too loose, the insertion wheel will discharge a higher amount of gasket from the roll, leading the drum to a halt. Once the discharged amount of gasket is consumed, the drum will apply counterforce, leading to shortening. To avoid damage to the gasket, the surfaces of the puller pieces in the extrusion line shall be damage-free. The puller and the cutting operation shall be at equal speeds. If the blade impact has a low speed, the profile will get bent and the gasket inside the channel will start tightening, leading to shortening. The surface of the blade used in cutting shall not be damaged or too sharp. You can safely use your insertion device.